in my quest for sustainable shellfish aquaculture for California, I found myself in Samish Bay, Washington at Taylor Shellfish Farms. I'm visiting the sustainable mariculture mecca to not just learn how to farm gooey duck clams, but also how to cook gooey duck clams. But first, I had to find the gooey duck clams. These clams are too small to be gooey duck clams. But manila clams are really tasty bivalves. Definitely not these. We already have sustainable mussel aquaculture in California. Did you know that mussels are a superfood? I'll leave a link to that article in the description. Now don't get me wrong, I love Japanese Pacific oysters. And in California, you will find a number of oysters, such as the Kumamoto oyster, the Marin Miyagi oyster, and the native Olympia oyster. There are many documented health benefits from eating oysters. Oyster farming is also spectacular for the environment, and Pacific oysters can get to be a pretty big oyster. But I'm here for the native clams. And at first, I thought I finally found them. Instead, I found a different native clam, razor clams. In the state of California, Razor clams are only found in the most northern counties in California, in Humboldt and Del Norte counties. As I was getting discouraged, the harvest crew shows up with crates full of this Pacific West Coast favorite, giant gooey duck clams. Let's join William in the Taylor Shellfish Farms kitchen and learn how to clean and cook gooey duck and see if he has any gooey duck recipes to share for this giant clam. My name is William and I work here at Taylor Shellfish uh, in Samish Bay and I am going to shuck a gooey duck which is native here to the northwest and uh, the Pacific coast. But we're starting out with a live gooey duck here. We're going to do a quick blanch. It's only about five seconds in boiling water. I'm going to grab it out. All right, and we're going to drop her into an ice bath. Recommend using a pair of tongs and not just grabbing it out of the boiling water. And once we're there, and then wait till that skin starts to loosen a little bit, which it's doing. All right. So we're gonna clear off the shell. See the shell's attached on either side. The skin is kind of starting to loosen. You're going to run your knife right up the inside of the shell here. Cut the abductor muscles down on the bottom. Real simple. Peel that shell right off. Then you've got the innards here. I'm going to cut those. Clear those out. You don't want any of those. All right. And then we're gonna peel back the skin here, which is always the fun part. Not the most beautiful example of a uh, gooey duck, but. All right. So yeah. <laughs> Usually this comes off a little easier, but once in a while they're a little sticky. You gotta peel that skin back. So, there it goes, there it goes, it peels off there, all right, I'm going to dip her in the water, I like to keep it cold, keep it stiff, cut the little tip off there, you don't want that, that's where the kind of all the dirt and stuff accumulates there, on the bottom side you'll see a little bit of a ridge kind of hard to see on the smaller ones but the bigger ones will have a seam down the side and you just follow that seam right down the middle like so doesn't have to be perfect and then let's cut her at an angle right here like this leaves you with your your snout and your body and uh, it's pretty simple wash the dirt off After we've cut off the tip, we cut the snout in half here. We're gonna 
Just cut really thin slices, very thin. Some people do, do it at an angle, and I like to do more of a straight cut, preferably. And just real, real thin. All right, so after you slice the vent, the, the body is served the same way. Um, it's gonna be a little bit softer and a little less tendony than, than the snout vent area, but, um, but it tastes almost the same. Um, very, a little more tender, but we usually just mix the cuts together and serve them together. But it's cut the exact same way. On a bigger gooey duck, you might split it down the middle and uh, cut it a little so you can get smaller pieces. But uh, other than that, it's just just a straight or in an angled cut and just cut very thin. And then once it's cut, we uh, usually serve it in a little, on a little plate with a little soy sauce and a little lemon. And it, it's really, really good. But yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful stuff. If you want to learn more about sustainable shellfish aquaculture, check out these two videos. For UC Davis Aquaculture, this is Dr. Jackson Gross.